Hi, it's Bianca and today is the absolute last day of the decade. It is December 31st, 2019 and I kind of need a jump start to have a better decade. This decade was full of fun and surprises and randomness and I went to high school in this decade and that was amazing and I went to college in this decade and that was also slightly amazing. I lived abroad, I lived in America, I lived in Florida for a hot second, a little bit, I don't know. Whatever. And most importantly, this decade will go down in history in my life as the decade of changes. And I spent a lot of this decade quoting bands that I probably will still listen to come 2020. So, with that being said, this decade was a decade under the influence. I am definitely stealing Amber Scholl's little vibe right here and making a mood board slash a vision board for 2020 to start manifesting better things into my life and to start understanding the secret behind things. In high school, I read the book The Secret and me and my friends would start believing in the universe and this is what we did and it was really nice to know that if you have the universe on your side, you could accomplish anything. So, P.S. This is what I used to call my universe bracelet and I used to wear it, actually I used to wear it on my left hand, but that just gave me like a real OCD moment. Like I had to be like, no, 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 it was bad luck on your right hand. I don't know. I have these like weird superstitions that I made up in my head. Anyway, I used to wear this in high school literally every single day. This was my shit. I used to come home and I have this little Buddha statue and I used to put my bracelet on Buddha because I thought Buddha would like make my bracelet absorb good things and better things and I just had this whole theory behind the secret and manifestation and Buddha and whatever. This bracelet I felt like really guided the way and I didn't do this on purpose that my whole entire outfit today matches my bracelet from high school. I used to pretend that these were like the planets and the stars aligning and this was the earth and this was gonna keep me grounded and this was gonna keep me from floating away to the abyss and lo and behold I ended up going to the abyss eventually but we are staying back and we're getting back on track. In this decade I really want to get back into understanding that the universe is for me <laughs> I am for the universe and whatever I ask for I shall receive if I'm asking nicely if I'm believing in myself if I'm being gracious enough to accept the gift that the universe is giving me and I'm not so crazy religious I'm not really into you know I used to pray at night I don't pray at night anymore because I felt like it, I wasn't helping myself I felt like I was digging myself more and more into an abyss so so speaking of the abyss we have the universe now to ask for help and guidance and it's more about like the core of your being and knowing that who cares if no one believes in you who cares if no one wants you to succeed people will always wish bad upon you but if you're wishing good upon yourself and if you're sitting here like this year is gonna be amazing it's gonna be the year of travel it's gonna be the year of love it's gonna be the love the year of love it's gonna be the year of light i really do in this moment right this second believe in that and i think that's all that matters and that's what we're gonna do with my mood board now this is literally all you need some inspiration some things to make the inspiration stick and some things to cut out the blank spaces which honestly is just a metaphor <laughs> now amber being the queen of mood boards herself i am kind of taking a lot of advice from her in the sense that i'm gonna have this central quote but also considering i live my life in quotes anyway and I'm very much a writer as the great Charles Bukowski once said but you laugh inside remembering all the times you felt that way and this is from a poem called gamblers all and the preface of this quote says sometimes you get up out of bed in the morning and you think you can't make it but you laugh inside remembering all the times you felt that way this year was a lot of that <laughs> so we're just gonna recall the past but we're gonna move toward the future this year and considering this year I did a lot of not so much writing and I'm such a person that writes in all of my notebooks I'll show you right here <laughs> I want this year to be filled with much more memories much more books much more writing and much more understanding who the hell I am 
This one's probably a little bit random, but it's a nice, lovely little tea set. And I used to drink tea all the time, and this is kind of just reminding me to keep the warmness inside of me, <laughs> keep that fuzzy feeling you get when you're drinking a cozy cup of tea. I must become a lion-hearted girl ready for a fight. And honestly, I couldn't speak much more truth than that. I think you guys understand what I'm trying to get at when I say I want to get back to my roots of being the crazy, wild, Sagittarius blooded human being that I know that I am that I feel like I've lost some time this year I want to hit a hundred thousand subscribers and I know that I can hit a hundred thousand subscribers And I know that I put a lot of effort into YouTube and a lot of people could judge me for it And a lot of people could make me feel little for it You know if you could see it on a piece of paper where it says a hundred thousand subscribers I think that you could visualize it and make it become real. So this year we are hitting a hundred K and something really funny is that I was just looking through my photos and I actually printed out two of these. So I did that totally on accident. There's no other duplicates in this set except for this one. So that must mean it's going to come true. Actually, just one second. It ended up printing out two of a bunch of things, but that was the first one that I spotted as a duplicate. So we're just gonna breeze past that and pretend that uh, whatever I just said makes a lot of sense. kids let's get down to business so this is the complete overlook of the entire dream board it literally takes up almost the same amount as my desk space so this up here is kind of like my this is 2020 sort of thing but I didn't just want to write 2020 because I think that kind of looks a little bit lame I'm also super anal if you haven't noticed everything had to be perfectly aligned there's literally not a single spot missing but this is a quote from a song called New Year's Eve with Carl Weathers and it's by the band called The Wonder Years and it's literally a New Year's Eve song and in the song it goes can someone tell the universe we're not concerned blah 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 uh, don't they know we won't go down this easy it's like that and then there's also the quote in here that says it's gonna be our year, boys. We have Carrie Bradshaw, and no, we didn't put Carrie Bradshaw on here just because Amber Scholl did. We love Sex in the City. We've always loved Carrie Bradshaw. Growing up, everyone kind of always compared me to her because I loved writing and I loved fashion, so. Giving me the reminder with my laptop to do work. You could do work from home and still be productive and still be cute and still be fun and pretty, and it doesn't really matter what anybody says. You can question things and be curious because that's what Carrie does. Over here, take a walk on the wild side. I felt like I became a shell of myself the past few years and I used to be so wild and crazy be like I was when I was 18 fun and not take anything so seriously because it's meant to be silly. This is a picture of what I believe is England, but it's also some writing. So again, more writing concepts in there right here too, just to fill up some pages, just to make my books 
have a meaning, but also to just write. And no matter where you go, write. So this is obviously not my city, but I'm really, really looking forward to hopefully going back to England this year. Pretty places, pretty flowers, pretty things. And it's just kind of making me want to feel inspired again and to go out and to just see the world from a new light and smell roses. Wake up and smell them, kid. Here's some plants. I have a lot of fake plants in my room. I'm not so proud of that. I really want to have more of a green thumb this year. So hopefully once the springtime comes, I can learn how to do that whether it be from my friends or from YouTube videos or from learning how to be more green. See the stars and everything to make sure wherever you go you shine and also to experiment with clothes again and to make sure that I'm using my sewing machine. You will never influence the world by trying to be like it. This is me <laughs> from a few years ago and Jordan took this picture of me. I remember I was really sad this day and to make me happy, Jordan threw a bunch of money on me and it was a really fun time. So this is one, to manifest some money and two, just to be turn the sadness around and <laughs> there is nothing to be so sad about. This is a poem, it says, it's okay if you're burning with anger or sadness or both. It is necessary for you to collapse so you can learn how phoenixes are reborn when they burn and rise again from the ashes of their existence. So this is literally just the year of rebirth, of understanding, of channeling your anger into something else, aka my anger into something else. All right, you burned up, you burned away the ashes, good, perfect. Now now make a candle out of it. Make this out of it. This is Nick and Jess from New Girl. It's one of my favorite shows, but also I love their love and I love how silly and best friend and lovely they are. So I'm hoping to have more of that this year. And also the sake that they live in a loft together and they just spend a lot of time with friends and I'm hoping that'll be amazing this year. This is road trips. I would love to go on another road trip. More clothes, more stuff, more fashion, more fun, more experimentation, and also simply just being pretty and glamorous. A really pretty bathroom that I really enjoy and just skincare. And overall, like I guess the deepness of this picture is to be more self-care, to be more loving, to be more lovely towards myself. And knowing that what I'm putting on myself is good and clean and what I'm putting in my body is also good and clean. This is pretty places. I want to go to more pretty places. I want to eat out at cute restaurants, but also this reminds me of this place in London called Sketch. And like I said, up there, I want to go back to England. And also kind of on the border of England because this show, End of the Fucking World, was one of my favorite shows this year in 2019. James says, I've just turned 18 and I think I understand what people mean to each other. So I just want more of that, more light, more love, more effortless, more sweet, sweet nothings. This is what I want. And then I left some room here and I just decorated it a little bit in case I wanted to put more pictures. But overall, guys, this is my 2020 mood board. Let me know what's on yours. If you're making one, if you were to make one, a hypothetical one, what would be on it? And I'd love to know. I know it's cliche but before I sign off I want to wish you guys a happy and healthy new year and I hope all of your hopes and dreams come true so yeah all in all I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe down below and follow me over on Instagram because honey didn't you know the mood board said we're hitting 100k this year I'll see you guys when I see you guys and I love ya love baby bye yeah.